All right, guys, so there was a new dev diary that was released today, and I decided to go through and just read it really quickly. Not going to make a whole video about this. Um, pretty much the executive producer of Black Desert Online, uh, the same guy who made the interview last time for in for Invin that I made a video about, just had a couple things to say about the, the game. And the most important thing we're going to go to, uh, uh, if I read this here, is class balance. No, I haven't read this yet, but I want to read it with you guys. So let's go ahead and check it out. So he says, before going into detail, I would like to mention that balancing classes will be an ongoing process with fixes, buffs, and nerfs here and there. Previously, we avoided nerfing classes, instead choosing to buff others. We realized, however, that we were taking the wrong approach and a stubborn stance, even when players believe nerfs are necessary. From this point forward, we will make sure our patch notes deliver accurate information regarding class balance changes, whether it be a nerf or a buff. What's going on guys? Merry Christmas and uh, <laughs> sorry for that little thing I just did a few seconds ago, but I was just so happy from reading what the um, dev diary had to say about the, the class balances in the game. Now, if you guys don't know, the creative director of Black Desert Online, who's done a lot of interviews lately, uh, actually did an interview with Kakao recently. So for the um, English playing community, the North American and EU community, and he stated that he admits that he and his team have been stubborn in terms of not wanting to nerf the classes. So he's decided that, yeah, they're going to start nerfing classes. That was something they never wanted to do. They always were like, no, 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 we're just going to buff everyone up to the level of the class we think, you know, that, so that the game is balanced that way. But no, they realized that that's kind of impossible. I'm going to go over why that's impossible in a few seconds. But yeah, I just want to say Merry Christmas to you guys. And I'm a little under the weather. So if I sound a little weird in this video, it's because I'm sick. But hey, I had to make this video. So I'm still, still getting my videos done. So yeah, let's get into why I think this is a great thing that Wizards and Witches should be nerfed. Now, Wizards and Witches are the best group fight class in the game. Uh, they have been ever since their release. And they always will be until they get nerfed. Now, I'm going to explain why that is. And you would think, well, is it because of their CC, their damage? No. Even though they have great CC and great damage, all both of them have large amounts of CC, large amounts of damage that that's just large AoEs. And they, they trust me, they, they are good in that the department as well. But that's not why I think they should be nerfed. The reason why I think Wizard and Witches should be nerfed is because they have those cc and damage that i just mentioned earlier but they also have utility have the best utility abilities in the game period there is no class come that that has anything close to what they have first they have a heal a heal that is just amazing let's not even start how amazing that heal is it can heal someone to pretty much 100 percent health in a few seconds if the wizard or witch is free to cast it which they usually are in a group fight because they have people protecting them and then the other ability that they have is a buff that uh depending on which or wizard gives the different buffs but it's just a, a, a battle buff which i don't really have a problem with but the big buff that they have that 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 everyone or most people at least now have really realized is an issue in this game is called protective area now, protective area is an ability that allows witches and wizards to cast an ability on their team that allows their team to be completely or nearly completely avoid of any type of damage for about seven seconds because the cast time the by the time they cast it, seven seconds left before a push can be made and you might be thinking well seven seconds isn't that long hero but the thing is if you have multiple wizards in your group you can have the second wizard come in and use a protected area once the seven seconds is up and then another one for once the seven seconds is up and then another one once the seven seconds is up and you see that you see the problem here right you see the problem here that's very it's very hard to counter this kind of strategy the most you can do is just cc the enemy team because they are still susceptible to cc however you won't be doing any damage to them you'll at least be able to knock them on the ground until their cc is up what's supposed to happen here i'm assuming is there's supposed to be pick classes like musa mewa ninja kuno tamer etc that can go and attack the wizards and witches and keep them from doing things like this the problem with that is any competent team will defend their witch and wizards by all means necessary allowing them to get off whatever cast they need now the reason why i say the protected area has to go is because it is the number one current strategy in black desert online no 
fighting strategy, the group fighting strategy comes close. Basically, what everyone does is they gather up to their witch wizard, they call a protected area, and then they push. And then they they have another witch wizard to use another protected area on the rotation, etc. etc. Like I said earlier, it's the same strategy in every guild. There's no big secrets here. Yeah, you can place your uh, your camp or your no your your whatever you can place it wherever you want to place it you can have uh elephants etc etc but at the end of the day when it comes down to gbg battle on the ground that is always the strategy that these guilds go for and it's not because that they're lazy it's because it is the most effective strategy and that is a problem when a video game as big as black desert with as many different people playing as many different classes as many different um viable strategies and no wars and sieges that the game has in terms of the traps and the and the um and the the flag that lets you teleport your guild when they respawn and elephants and all kind of stuff like that the most important thing than all of those things is how many wizards and witches do you have in your guild if you have enough witches and wizards in your guild who know how to use protected area off of cooldown and protect each other and protect everyone and to push your guild can be basically invincible which defeats the purpose of every other strategy in the game which in my opinion and a lot of other opinions is a very big flaw so my hope for the nerf witch and wizard is not to nerf their damage and not to nerf their cc though they could use a bit of a nerf there i wouldn't mind if they kept the same damage and the same cc i wouldn't mind if they kept the heal they're actually going to be buffing the heal so i don't have a problem with that what i have a problem with is protected area i believe protected area is the worst skill in black dozen online and it has to go and once it goes, the game will be a lot more fun because there will be a lot more strategies that can be involved and a lot more different ideas that will be seen and a lot more possibilities made. And a guild won't have to be reliant on how many witch and wizards they have in order to be able to be successful. A witch and wizard will still be very useful because of their heal and because of their group buffs. They don't need protected area. Protected area is not is not a relevant skill in today's game it is a very prominent issue in black doesn't online and if you don't don't think so then either a you are someone who relies on the protected area strategy or b you have not participated in in-game pvp those are the only two options i don't see any other ones but yeah that's just what i want to go over on this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any questions or comments or let me know what you guys think in the comments do you guys think i'm retarded if i want to get rid of pa i'm sure there's some people are but i hope you understand where i'm coming from i do have a very valid reason behind this and i hope pearl abyss sees this reason in some way or another i don't know i don't think they ever will i really have lost all faith in these guys in terms of pvp balance but they are doing pretty good recently with the ranger buffs the musa buffs the ninja buffs everyone seems to be enjoying them so far so maybe they have learned hopefully they have i don't know anyway it's your boy hero see you guys next time peace